Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Suffering. When we last left off, uh, we were in prison, apparently. Uh, things went quickly wrong and loads of demons and monsters started running around. And now we quickly find ourselves with nothing but a shiv. And uh, a gun. For defense. So, let's start murdering our way through the prison, shall we? Oh, also... We go to archive. We actually found this Slayer. I first witnessed these creatures jumping out of the ground itself. Their heads were detached from their torsos, held aloft by hideous contraptions. Their limbs have been replaced by blades of the sharpest steel. To my eyes, they appear to be a manifestation of decapitation. Yet it seems improbable anyone ever had their head chopped off an abbot. I suppose incarnate anything is possible. I have dubbed these monstrosities slayers. Hmm. This is really cool. This kind of reminds me of... Um... Oh, that... A game that we played ages and ages ago. Uh, where... As you killed uh, enemies and discovered enemies as a certain character, he would write in a journal. And... How do we change weapons again? There we go. Uh-huh. Hey! Yeah. And uh, that was kind of written out to our, uh, read out to us as well. Really cool. I like that. Oh, hello. Okay. Yep, nice happy family phone call there. You right there, Chief? Looks like he's missing a bit of his brain. Pretty much all of his brain, actually. Push and pull object. What? Push and pull objects. Hold X, then move them forwards. Alright. So we can only move them forwards and backwards. Hmm. Not a lot in here. If there's a god, then why has he... Why... Why has he let me die? Well, because you're a piece of shit. Probably. If you're here, you're almost definitely a piece of shit. So, you know. Ooh, checkpoint. There are noises and a large open checkered room. Okay. Oh, well, let's have a little look through here first. Ooh. Oh, I like what you've done with the place. Gore dripping from the roof. Lovely. Lots of bullets. Happy with that. Now, curiously... Ah, right, so... Our flashlight, um... Kind of, like, uses its, um... Batteries automatically. You don't have to do anything. I kind of like that. I'm not sure yet, either. Whether I prefer third-person camera or first... Don't know. Weird. Alright, so there doesn't appear to be a huge load of stuff in there. Eternal Darkness is the game that I was trying to think of. Jesus. Oh, hello. That's a big boy. Probably going to want to rely on this to deal with him. Oh, hello. Certainly lots of noises going on. Lots of noise and not a lot of action. Let's see what's in the toilets. Anybody around? Surprising. Usually they like the toilet jump scares, don't they? 
It's kind of, ooh, kind of a staple. I'm hoping there isn't like an upper limit to how many batteries we can hold. Oh. Metal detector. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh. Okay, do we... Wait a bit. Hang on. Oh, what the hell? We've got puzzles in this game, really? That's interesting. So I'm guessing we need to put those... Guys, somewhere. Nobody on the old blower yet. Yeah, that flashlight drains down really quickly. Like, scarily quickly. Okay, so. If we can move these here, there's three of them to move. Where will we be putting those? Before we start fiddling with that, let's have a little look in here. Ah, oh. Thanks, pal. You actually saved me a job there, believe it or not. Now, it's all well and good you scaring around. But you're wasting my torch. So you're actually inconveniencing me quite a lot here, dude. You gotta like drop down and let me shoot you? Seriously, dude? I mean, honestly, this is pretty unreasonable of you. I don't even know where he's gone. Oh, there he is. Come on, sweet cheeks. Let's get this done. Blew something off him. I'm not sure about this handgun. Oh, evening. Yeah, not sure about the handgun. It seems to do an okay amount of damage. But the shift certainly seems to do more damage. I'm guessing that makes sense. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I like it. Yeah, uh, I would have liked to have heard the rest of that, but I was too busy shooting people in the face. So, oh, we got a, oh, we got a map. And we got an archive of the islands. All right. A teddy bear. Oh, bullets. Yes. 99. Is that the most we can hold? I have no idea. Alright, let's have a quick look at the old archives. It is not that. So, what did we get? Aha, that's new. The island. Carnate Island is approximately three miles wide and lies some ten miles off the coast of Maryland. In addition to man-made structures, Carnate is also home to a labyrinthine natural cave system, unlike anything I have seen before. Through my studies, I learned of the island's dark and unsettling history. Though it may sound ridiculous to say it, Carnate seems to bring out the worst in those who make the mistake of coming here. We actually heard that before. That voice said, um, it's bringing out the worst, didn't it? Now, how do we get the map up? Would be my next question. Oh. Okay. Ah, look at this. It even shows us on the map where we are. Okay, the map's not bad. I mean, it's not, like, completely perfect. So. Hmm. Oh. I don't know why we brought that up. Hey, can 
anybody hear me? You've got to let me in. They're all dead out here. I lost my keys. Open <laughs> the door, please. Is anybody in there? Uh. Everywhere. Yeah, I mean, they are everywhere, dude. Um, I guess... Oh, I guess you are seriously out of luck, though, because we don't have any keys either. A uh, bit unfortunate for you, to be honest, sir. Uh, I'd love to let you in, but I guess we can't. Alright, let's give this statue a bit of a shove. Heroic guard. Oh. Okay. Do we not have... No, I guess we can't. Okay. Ah. Ah. Right, got ya. So I'm guessing. Um. Right, I'm guessing we need to use the statue to hold the door open. Yeah, alright, let go. There we are. See, I can do puzzles. I can do puzzles. At least I think this is how it's going to go down. Aha! Excellent. Alright, talk. You're not as dumb as you look. Well, I shouldn't say that. Ooh, oh, oh, hello. That thing looks a little bit burlier than the other things we've come into contact with thus far. What happened? Where am I? Oh, oh. <laughs> this looks like shit. Hello? Can anybody hear me? What's going on? Hello? Let me out. All right. Yeah. So, it, all right. Ooh. Oh, maybe a new jack. Did you think I was born yesterday? I'm not scared. I know this thing is keeping me in cage. Hey, well, the door's got to everything. No way it can hurt me. How'd you guys get me in here anyway? Hello? Hello? Anyone hear me? Ooh. All right, so you should put these straps on tight. Is that part of the gang, huh? Ah, oh, guys, I'm conflicted. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna save it, and then we're gonna beep the boop. <laughs> well. That's not the roses, mate. I can. I am doing something. I'm watching. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. But we're not going to be killing innocent uh, guards. So, you know. As much as it pains me. Right. Um, I will get you out of here. I'm just not 100% sure how to get you out of here. To be honest. And they're all dead. Everybody's dead. Ooh. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I don't feel like murdering him. Okay, so we've got plenty of flashlight batteries, which is good. Ooh! the hell is that guy? He's pretty burly. 
Well, that's not good. Guess we're not going that way. Uh, I guess we're supposed to be following that beast. Not a hundred. Oh, hello. Hello, Orcs. <laughs> well, the man's got a sense of humour, to be fair. So, there's that. Credit where credit's due and all that. Alright, well, I guess a sweet FA we can do here. That zombium is full. Is it really called zombium? Oh, hello. One behind as well. Thought as much. Ow. You guys... You guys don't actually hurt that much. Also, did I like shoot him and then he like died? I, I'm not I'm really sure what happened there. Like, I shot him and then he attacked me and then died. I don't, I, I don't know. We're not going to think about it too much. Come on, you scurrying little bastards. Let's be having ya. You know... I don't mind. I don't mind this gun. It's not bad. It sounds good. Feels relatively good. Yeah. Quite happy with that. Right, we've got stairs. What else have we got around here? Right, so that one's locked. Locked. Where is it? Oh. This is the gas chamber. Uh, right, let's see if we can, like, somehow save this guy. I have literally no idea if we can. Yeah, I'm trying to shut the gas off. Trying to. Yes. <laughs> I tried, dude. I tried. Possibly could have tried. Oh, God. Okay. Can you, like... Yeah, please can you smash that, man. Because I'm going to be dying otherwise. Yeah, this hurts. That really hurts. Oh, God. Whew. Right, let's be having you, friend. Come on. That other guy was bigger. I was curious. Let's switch back up to the handgun. So I don't know what that other guy was about. I'm guessing... Was he just like a more powerful one of these? Not sure, but we're absolutely tearing through our flashlight. At a rate of knots. Which I kind of don't want to be doing. Ah. Alright. Any flashlight batteries for us? Oh. I won't leave you alone until you do it. Till I do what? Till I escape? I mean, that is the plan. Can't imagine what else you're talking about. Ooh, supplies. Well, I certainly do like the idea of getting some supplies. Ah, uh, much better. Ooh, death house, basement map. More flashlight batteries. Did we get anything new for the archive? Oh, 
The Death House. The most ominous structure inside of Abbott is the Death House. Electrocution, gas, and lethal injection have all been used within its walls, though only the last is still used today. The Death House is also the prison's oldest structure, built as the administration building when the prison was a POW camp. Its basement was also built during the war, and in it, you can still see relics of that time. The basement has been closed off for 20 years. <gasps> 20 years? It ain't so. All right, well, I guess we're going to go bust in there. Have a look, see what's going on. So one full pot of zombium doesn't actually fully heal us, so that's good to know. Do seem to have quite a lot of health, though, to be fair. Oh. Descending. Wait, was that... Is this game done in levels? I guess so. Right. I want to see the real you, talk. All right. So says who? Yeah, so flashlights do give you more batteries. Right, so yeah, like everything. So you can only hold nine bloody... Ah, revolver ammo four as well. Okay. It's kind of good to know. So you can actually fairly easily fill up. Alright. Stronger than me. But I am Talk. What could possibly be stronger than a burly ass man with a name like Talk? Show me why you're in here. I want to know all about you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think we all kind of want to know what's really going on. That doesn't seem great. Death is our stock and trade here, Dad, but the final solution. I am one of the few who will admit that. First it giveth, then it taketh away. Ooh. The hell? understand much about this place, but I know your being here ain't no coincidence. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. How long I have been waiting to encounter such a fascinating specimen. My understanding is you've had periodic blackouts since... When was it? Ah, oh, yes. Early adolescence. Ever wonder what happens during those blackouts? Would you say you have visions of bloodshed? Yes, surely there is bloodshed. You've seen death, right? I read about your life, you sick bastard. Put me to shame. I never got to sniff a woman. Mm -hmm. But did you really do it? Because we get innocent guys. Oh, hello. Innocent until presumed guilty. It doesn't uh. seem like doing my job, though. Of all else, I am a professional. I am dedicated to the work. Who are you? But you already know that, don't you? So he's an executioner, I guess. Alright, interesting. And he's now wired into, like, the power box. And there's some kind of beastie made of gas. Kill a man, rip him apart with your bare hands. You ever feel that way? Maybe you're not like me. It's hard to say. You gotta fight it. Don't let this place do to you what it did to me. Yeah, well, I'm still not 100% sure who you are. I'm assuming you're an executioner. I don't know for sure. I can help you talk. I can make you well. I can give you control if you really want it. But first, you've got to show me. 
Give it a try for me, won't you? Certain things a man's gotta do. It can't be helped. Transform. Wait, we can transform? Transform into what? Okay. Yeah, well, apparently I need a full meter before I can transform. <clears throat> so when the meter is full, I'm flashing. So I think I've read about this, um, this transformation thing. I think if you keep transforming, you get a bad ending. Because there's, I think there's two endings to this game. I might have to look that up to be fair. Having said that, these enemies don't seem to be that powerful. Right. So I guess we can transform now into whatever the hell that is. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? All right. Well, I mean, I really did just think this was like some sort of Resident Evil type thing. Didn't realize we could transform into like some sort of were beast. Uh, used to transform. Right. So you have to transform back before the meter's empty. What uh, the hell? A good thing only lasts so long. I did not expect that. Yeah, I guess we shall be discussing this further. I need some pills. Yeah, you really can chew through those uh, pills pretty quick by the look of things. And ammo as well. I'm not really sure. Like, it didn't feel like our ammo was going down that quickly. Oh, we've got some flares. Is there ever anything in boxes? Ammo doesn't appear to be very rare, admittedly. So, I'm not really sure about that. We've hit a checkpoint. This might not be a terrible place to save it, to be honest. Kind of want to keep playing, if I'm honest, but I'm out of time. Um, I, I mean, I'm liking this. This is, this is kind of weirdly jank, but it's not bad. So we've got some sort of steam to turn crank handles. Press and hold X. Left thumbstick. Okay. Alright, so there's more like interactive stuff like that than I thought there would be. Come on, you ugly motherfucker. I think it's almost like trying too hard. Almost trying too hard. I'm not quite sure how our ammo is working either because I swear it's just like either we're picking up ammo. Um, pickups that I can't see, or it's like regening or something, which is a bit odd. But oh, hello! Oh, you're a big guy. Oh, you got some new tricks. You're dead. Yeah, you're dead. So you're just like a bigger one of them. Hmm. Ah. We can clamber up ledges and things. Cool. Alright, there's... Uh, I'd rather not. Ooh. Yeah, I'd rather not if it's all the same. Where the fuck are you? What's taking so long? Do it. Fucking do it! Just fucking kill me! Ooh, what the hell was that?
the f the f fuck? Uh. <laughs> well, I guess we finally meet the weird beastie thing that's been riding our ass for quite some time. Ooh. So I guess he has to reload. Alright, he's not actually that strong. Curious. And we've got like another meter now down in the bottom, which uh, just above our ammo, which I don't know what that's about. Alright. Swap load, something or other. So we've got another thing, marksman. Their enemies are pretty interesting. Marksman. Based on the battery of rifles attached to its back and the blindfold around its head, this marksman appears to be the reincarnation of a military firing squad. Abbott was originally a POW camp during World War II, so it seems likely they would have had executions of that sort. Indeed, there are stories of a rogue colonel who was to be court-martialed, but instead took his own life. Perhaps he is connected to these abominations. That's a really freaking cool um, enemy design. I wonder if we get other weapons. I mean, there's TNT on the table there. Oh man, I just <laughs> I really want to stop. Oh, I want to keep playing. Um, but I can't. I'm going to have to save it here, guys. Uh, and uh, I suppose not going to be able to play it till next week now. Incidentally. Oh, so I got. Oh, it's going to be f six days. Next recording session, six days. Son of a bitch. Unless I can uh, sneak a quick one in somewhere. Anyway, guys, uh, uh, this is cool. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, it's very different. Um, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect, but it it's not what I thought it was going to be. It's... Um, it's definitely not survival horror. I mean, it's definitely more of a, an action game. And that's fine. The gunplay seems alright for a, a game of its age. Uh, you know, the enemies are fine. The controls are fine. Kind of a bit weird. You know, you got the first person and the third person kind of view. I, it just seems to be easier to play in first person view for me. Um, but yeah, this is cool. Um, I guess there's some kind of funky voodoo going on on this island that we're going to slowly unravel as we go on and... Apparently, we can mutate and change into a big knife-wielding demon thing, which, yeah, uh, okay, cool. But apparently, that has some bad sides. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out more together. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.